Ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, Daddy here with another gameplay. What's up, guys? How y'all been doing? So, this is the second gameplay of Sunday that I've made, or commentary. Um, this is the one that'll be prepared so y'all can watch it on Monday. Uh, so I'm going to upload this tomorrow morning, uh, which is Monday morning, probably around 9, 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to upload it early, let it go ahead and get some views and everything. Uh, just finished uploading Sunday night's video, and I'm probably going to go ahead and make another video so this way it can be ready for Tuesday, just in case the unboxing video or something goes wrong, like UPS doesn't deliver or something. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see what happens there. Anyways, anyways, since uh, y'all really enjoyed the um, the game where I single-handedly won it by myself, I figured y'all might enjoy this game. This gameplay. Uh, it's because of our kill streaks that I'm able to hold off the victory. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain my my setup usual um, using the uh, G36C Sting the Mags uh, silencer. Also using um, Slot of Hand Pro, Assassin Pro, and Sit Rep Pro. Sorry guys, I, I just got sidetracked right there quick. Um, anyways, yeah, I get the uh, <clears throat> Osprey gun. I get the Reaper. AC-130 Osprey Gunner, and I'm able to hold it off after we cap our flags and make sure that we win. Right now we have two flags. We're getting ready to tie it up. Uh, I cut this video short. Uh, at the very beginning of the game, we were like getting stoned bad. I think they had us 150 or 140. It was bad. And uh, usually when I start playing a game, like the first 50 points of the game, I'm trying to get my kill streaks. That's usually what I do. Whenever I, whenever I'm in a game and it's getting to the 50 point mark and we're getting stomped like that. I stop what I'm doing and I go and cap flags. Once I cap two or three flags, um, then I pull off and start getting my kill streaks again. If I see we're lo losing a flag, I'm more than willing to run across the map and lose my kill streak just to make sure we win. I want to make sure we win simply because that's that's more important. Like. I can get a kill streak in the next game. You know, I can replace not getting a kill streak in not in, in this game within the next game, but I can't replace this win. Like I want to win every time I play. I want to win. Um, so that's that's why it's so important for me to win. You'll hear a lot of people say that that Slayer modes are really good. I mean, <clears throat> people who Slayer do Slayer are really good. Like they're helping the team, and that's true. So let me go ahead and explain my Slayer role. For a good slayer, you need to be pulling off KDs like six or seven. If you're never going to cap a flag during a game that you don't cap a flag, you should be having 50 plus kills. That's me. 50 kills, or well, maybe not 50. Let's let's drop it down. Maybe like over 30 kills, because it's pretty easy to get 30 kills in this game. Let's be realistic. It really is easy to get 30 kills. Um, but that's if you don't cap any flags, any flags at all. Okay. If you cl cap two flags. And you go 30 and 15. We'll even do it that 30 and 15. You cap two flags and maybe got one or two defends. You've done a lot of work. You've done a lot of work getting two flags and then going like with a pot, like two KD. You've done a lot of work, especially if you've been providing kill streaks. If you've been providing deaths to the whole entire enemy team, you've done some good. I'm never going to sit here and say that you can win every game by yourself if you do nothing but cat flags. That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying you need to make sure you put some effort into winning a game because, you know, winning is is, is very important. As you can see, we're triple capped. Um, so it's it's my objective to make sure that we get it. And I'm two away or one away from my Reaper right now, and I'm still not going. You know, back off of it. I got to make sure I get it. Um, so, what I do is, I think I, I see the guy over there, right? So, I'm going to try and take him out from afar. But what I really needed to do, what I should have done right there was probably cap Z. Um, I know what was going through my head was, I can benefit my team more at this point if I get the Reaper and hold the flags. And that's true. If we still had two flags at that point, which we don't right now, me getting a reaper and keeping the enemy off of it would do a lot of good. But here's the thing with this map. This map, when you call in a reaper and AC-130, within two, like 10 seconds of having it, or 5 seconds of having it, you get stuck with this nice little mountain right here. 
I don't know why Infinity War put this mountain right here, but it makes me, it pisses me off. I can't use my freaking kill streak. So that's that's that on that, you know. Uh, if you're going to let me have a kill streak, please let me be able to use it because this is ridiculous. Then I get the AC-130, of course, and we just we just keep we just keep going up. Um, so this game was won. See, now we have two flags and we're still holding it off. We barely pull out this victory. And my point is, is because my team and I, which was completely random, did some work. This team did some work. I think everybody had at least one or two caps. And that's enough, guys. That's my point. If everybody gets it, not like at least one or two fl flag caps and like one or two defends, you're going to win the game. I don't see how you could not win the game unless you're playing against a... If you lose a game and everybody done one or two caps, uh, and I don't say one. I mean, when I say one... I don't mean the first flag. That don't count. If you're not capping that flag and you're not going straight to B, something's wrong. But when you cap one or two flags other than the first flag, you've done good. So that means three caps in total, and you've got like two defends. You've done really good that game. Like that's to me, that's an awesome job. You've done awesome. Three flag caps, two defends. What more could you ask for? And if everybody put that effort in there, I believe that you'd win. If your team did that against a regular team, it, you'd win. But if you did that against an organized team, you may not win with that much effort. It really takes more effort against organized teams. That's just my thought. That's another one of my gameplays. Please remember, guys, you're the head and not the tail above, only not beneath. You've got 45 and 12, I do believe, or 41 and 12. I can't see from here while I'm rendering this video. And, uh, guys, you know it. You're the best, and have a nice day. Peace. Sorry guys, I almost forgot to tell y'all the question of the day, or ask y'all the question of the day. Uh, what's your idea of the best way to win a domination game, or any game that you might, might play? Team Deathmatch, let me know what game mode you're talking about, and then tell me what your idea of winning it is. Alright, obviously if it's Team Deathmatch, it's making sure you get less deaths. But anyways, uh, once again, remember you're heading out to tell above only number beneath, and remember to rate, subscribe, comment, favorite, like, and guys, stay beautiful. You're awesome.